I wanted to show you something. They talked about this book. I got this book when I was a little girl, and it's about fairies. And they talked about how in the book that I'm depicted as, I think, an elf or a fairy. And, you know, they were like, oh, you should show this book. So they're like, oh, we can say that you're doing everything we say. No, it's important that I show you the things that they refer to so that if something, God forbid, happens to these things, you guys know they're the ones who mentioned it. So it proves that they broke into the, the apartment and they also it proves that there are certain things they're mentioning. So this book was from 1982. So I would have been a very little girl. I turned nine in 1982. So I would have been um, eight. So I turned nine December of 1982. So I was an eight-year-old. And so when they're talking about these different things... And they're trying to say that I pretended to be white and I'm this, all of these things. These are things that I grew up with. I don't, I don't know when I became aware of race, but I probably wasn't aware of race to the degree these people are. This is what I'm talking about. The things that they talk about in terms of race are things that I don't know. Most Americans don't know these things. And I don't know how they know these things, but they're more about race than I am. So I'm going to go through these books and show you a few pictures so that if you guys are also into fairies, you'll see some really beautiful pictures. Isn't that beautiful? And so um, years ago, they said I changed the way I spoke based on what they said to me. I didn't. And we went over that also. But let me pause this and go do a few more things. Here's another beautiful picture. So as I'm showing you guys crafts for Halloween and I'm incorporating things that sort of relate to fairies, it's something that I grew up with. I mean, I, I, I can't remember a time in my life when I didn't have a knowledge of fairies. It didn't come from anyone. They keep trying to guess, like maybe I saw a, a movie or a book or something. Then it would probably be around this book. It wouldn't be like something when I was much older. So what I'm saying is, you know, they're trying to get me upset because they said they keep trying to get this to look like it was legitimate. It doesn't. It looks like someone just put it together at the last minute. So when they keep trying to go over different things that maybe could be like the first time I've experienced things. If I first time I experienced something at eight, I probably was much younger. Then it's still 42 years ago. I mean almost over 42 years ago. It was a long, long time ago. Um, the other thing that I wanted to tell you about is they keep going over again. Like I would have a mental problem if I kept going over the same things over and over again. They're still on the honest program thing. This, this Now they're on the um, American Psychological Association thing. It would be just them going over the same thing over and over again. Um, the other thing is, what was I going to tell you folks? Let me pause this and think. So, um, yeah, so they're also upset that the um, videos that I'm doing, I'm just being myself. And they said, well, am I concerned that people will dislike me or the more they see me, they'll dislike me? You know, I think the difference between what they're concerned about and what I'm concerned about is, no, I'm not worried about that. I think, you know, part of what I think happened when these types of people entered my life is that they didn't want, they wanted me, but they wanted it to seem like they were me. So they could clone me, copy my mannerisms, say the same things I would say, and then just have me kind of around. And I think that's something strange to me where people would want to be in a relationship with someone so that they could kind of take that person's personality and become that person yet keep me there just in case they need me which is a different sort of relationship and I, I think it you know it doesn't sound as strange now as it would have if you before I had this experience so they were trying to do something to make me feel pressure here before I told you they always wanted me to feel pressure here they wanted me to have the pressure back here because this is what they think caused the twitching but I think this pressure back here is what messed up my eyesight. So I'm going to tell you guys that they kept trying to figure out why couldn't I see well. well. As soon as they target back here, it messes up my eyesight. Now the brain, and I can't remember every portion, but you have 
different lobes that are responsible for different parts of your functioning. So I believe back here is what's affected, what affects my eyesight and my vision. So the more that they targeted back here, the more my vision was affected. I'm telling you guys that I didn't tell them this. Part of why this would have worked for them is if I didn't have this experience, you know, I'm talking about things that I grew up experiencing that I've had, you know, um, more than enough time experiencing so that it's natural for me. It wouldn't be natural for them to talk about these things. And that's another issue. So when they're trying to threaten me that everyone's going to turn on me and hate me, it's how they think that's their issue. Meaning that's what they have experience in. I'm talking to you about things that I have experience in. So when I'm talking about, you know, um, fairies and a fairy bottle, and fairy, that's what I grew up experiencing. I don't know how, you know, I think a lot of people in my generation probably grew up that way, but I don't know how they could not have known it yet. They knew exactly where the book is. And I showed you the book. So the other concern of theirs is, well, that means no one's going to inherit it. You get what I'm saying? Like their issues are always going to be those types of issues. So they said, they said, I should say the word poem instead of poem. I'm going to always say poem because first of all, again, if it's not related to a job, I'm going to go back to pronouncing things the way I grew up pronouncing it. I grew up pronouncing it poem. I'm going to call it poem. I'm not going to say poem. The thing they said, uh, squirrels. We, when I grew up, we always said squirrels. We didn't say squirrels. I will go back to saying squirrels, meaning I'm not going to change the way I pronounce things for them. They said, well, did I ever? Meaning if, if for example, I'm going to give you a spe specific example, which makes sense. At Sex With Them, we had a designer called Real Clothes. So if I mispronounce it, I'm affecting my job. I must pronounce it correctly. That's completely different. And I've said this repeatedly, like their examples of things go against reality. If I have to do something for my job, I'll do it. But this is not affecting my jobs. It's affecting my life. I'm going to pronounce things the way I grew up pronouncing things. If I grew up with fairies and the ideas of fairies and, you know, this sort of fantasy world that existed, I think it helps children. And that's part of what I was saying in the previous video. I think by giving children a way to express emotions that comes from regular humans but putting it in a way that is easy to understand I think that could be why I was able to express my emotions they said when I was younger I was someone who could express my emotions and I think that helped me throughout life deal with certain issues so um I forgot what I was saying but uh, something along the lines of you know, if, if I grew up a certain way and these people came around when I was 40 something and tried to change me, there's a problem. You know, part of why I don't worry too much about doing this publicly is that I don't worry like that. Like people are going to like you or they're not going to like you. So they would say, well, did you ever, who cares? Like I, maybe I'm 50, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I don't know what age you get when you start to not care about every little thing, like maybe that's the, you know, I would hope that young people don't care about every little thing. And I would hope that they know that part of this scam is to pretend that they are you. It's partly to um, not just clone your personality, but try to clone the way you think so that then they could impersonate you and, and have a little imaginary fantasy interactions with you with their computer programs. And I would hope young people would realize that the more truth they know about you, the easier it is. So lie, it's okay to lie. You know, part of what I think happened in this situation was that they couldn't quite get my personality and they would kind of, like I said, they view someone else's personality and then kind of add to it, subtract, add to it, subtract, and they couldn't really get the full thing. It's okay.